there, friends. Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Arloth and I are here today to talk to you about a really awesome book that just came out. It's brand new. We read it basically the week that it came out because there was so much exciting hype about it. And it lived up to the hype. It was so incredible. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be talking about this book for quite a while. So which book is this? Well, it is Witchlings by Clarabelle Ortega witchlings. Now, this author has another book that she has written prior to this, but I had never heard of it before and I hadn't read it. So I went into this kind of blind. And the, like I said, the only reason I really was super excited about this was because it's been getting so much hype online from schools, from libraries, from readers. Everybody is talking about this book. So I figured I better figure out what is going on and is this worth the hype? Why is everybody talking about it? Yes, it is absolutely amazing, and I'm so, so glad I read it. I'm probably going to be reading it another, at least one more time before the year is over, because I just enjoyed it so much. And I just also, just look at how cute this cover is. Isn't it pretty? I love the colors. It's super adorable. There's a cool quote from the book on the back. So this book is about a, uh, it, well, it's about witches, obviously, as you can probably guess from the title. And it's about primarily this young girl named Seven who is a witchling. So witchlings are young people in this community, in this town called Ravenskill, who have magic, but they haven't been able to really harness their powers and live up to their full potential. So... Um, at this special ceremony, this uh, Black Moon ceremony, basically the magic sorts them into different covens. Kind of like the Hogwarts houses, but a little bit different. So you've got House Hyacinth, which is for people who are very brave and valiant. You've got House Goose, which is like for really chaotic, crazy people that are really goofy. You've got, let's see, what other ones? There's another one that is House Stars. House of Stars, brilliant, beautiful, and generous. Um, and so there's a few different covens. Seven is really hoping she's going to get put into House Hyacinth with her best friend, Poppy. On the night of the ceremony, however, she doesn't get placed into any coven, which unfortunately means she is a spare. So what a spare means is that basically you're picked on and made fun of by everyone in the town. You're not respected at all. She can't understand why this has happened to her. Her and two other girls, uh, Thorn and uh, Valley. So she decides to um, enact this ancient thing in the uh, in their rules, where if they go on this quest, they will then be given a chance to not lose their magic forever. So what is this quest they have to go on? It's to find and hunt down this night beast, which is this like terrible, horrible monster out of everybody's nightmares. So basically they have to, three of them have to work completely together, really different personalities, really super different personalities. So Seven is very practical minded. She is always logical thinking, trying to rationalize everything and, and make plans. Valley is very uh, sarcastic. She's a little bit sassy. She can come across as mean at times, but she's really not. That's just how she how she comes off. And Thorn is very quiet and timid and doesn't want to rock the boat. So all three of these personalities now have to work together to try to finish their quest to find the Night Beast. And they actually discover there's all this corruption and secrets and things behind this Night Beast that I can't really get into because I don't want to spoil it. Um... But basically, they have to go on this quest to make sure that they do not lose their magic forever. So why is this book getting so much attention? I think partially it is because the way that the author has these three girls work together and overcoming their differences, finding what things that are similar between them and a common ground between the three of them is really, really cool. There's lots of books about friendship out there, but for some reason, this one just feels really, really special, especially since Seven is starting out not wanting to be friends with these two. She's very disappointed. It'd be kind of like if you were going to Hogwarts and were really hoping to get into Gryffindor or any of the houses, and then you they decide that you're a squib instead or a muggle and that you can't actually be. Like, you would be so disappointed and mad, right? And that is all the kinds of stuff that Seven is going through. But they overcome their differences, learn to work together, and find each other's strengths because they try to bring each other up 
and strengthen each other where each of the other ones is weak. It's really awesome. It's also really cool because it's a very whimsical, fantastical story. I keep bringing up Harry Potter while I'm talking about it because kind of in a way it reminded me a little bit of it, not in the story or anything, but in the sense of wonder and magic and all the names for things are really fun. There's talking animals and there's just all these amazing things that are so cool. And the best part of this book I'm going to share with you because it hap happens to be the library in this town of Ravenskill. The library was Seven's second favorite place in the world after her own bedroom. It had high cathedral ceilings, books lining every wall from edge to edge, and sliding stairs where, on a busy day, librarians could be seen soaring from shelf to shelf. At the center of the library was Miss Dewey's station, adorned with colorful plants, fairy lights, and hidden compartments for snacks. Uh, that sounds like a library I definitely want to work at. <laughs> so everything about this story is just really whimsical and fun and just full of wonder and magic. And again, the really cool aspect of the friendship as well was amazing. So check this book out. It's getting a lot of attention right now for very good reasons. I absolutely loved it and can't wait to read it again. Witchlings by Clarabelle Ortega. So that's what we've got to talk to you about today. I hope that this book sounds really interesting and that you find it just as cool as I did. Uh, if so, please feel free to come and check it out from Farmington Community Library. And also please give this video a like. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.